Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be discussing the multiple summary feature that was added into Home Inspector Pro 6. Uh, this is definitely not a feature that everyone has to use, but we've gotten requests for it over the years from people, and so it's something that we've added in for those that are interested in using it. The idea here is that you can take your normal summary that has all the sections and all the items within them together, and you can break it out into totally separate summaries. So you might have a summary that's for all major items or for safety items or for maintenance items. Uh, and then you have, or the alternative is you have one summary that um, lists, say, your electrical section, and then within it are anything that you deem to be a safety defect or a normal defect. So how you do this is really up to you. The idea here is that HIP has given you the flexibility to make that decision. So to turn on the multiple summary feature, we're going to go to Report Settings, and we're going to Advanced Colors and Summaries. And you'll notice here we have color order. You can add in as many colors as you want. This is where the advanced color feature was uh, prior to Home Inspector Pro 6. And then we've just added this extra option here for a title that corresponds to each color. So on this template, there's four advanced colors. There's a gold, a green, a blue, and a red. Gold is for minor defects. Green is for maintenance. Uh, blue is for you know defects that aren't minor, and then uh, four is your red, which is safety concerns. And again, you can categorize these however you want. You can add new items in there. Say I wanted something that was uh, going to be pink, and I can call that whatever I wanted to. Um, we've already seen some people that are using this to do contractor-based summaries, so all electrical items together, all plumbing items together. So you can categorize it that way as you want, if you wanted to as well. Over here, you turn on your advanced colors. And then the option here, enable separate summaries by category. And once you check that, then that'll enable all these color titles and allow things to be separated out. What I'm going to do here is under electrical. This is a, an existing sample port we have. There's a, five items that have already been sent to the summary for the electrical service and may disconnect. First thing is a minor defect. Um, you can actually change the color right here. So if you want it to be a maintenance issue or you wanted it to be a minor defect, you would just change that drop down and even has the name there for you. So this method for ground was not visible. Uh, a ground wire was noted exiting the panel. So that we have marked as minor. We have a, a ground clearance issue, which we've marked as a maintenance. Uh, there was some damage, mark that as a defect. And we've marked this as a safety concern and improper clearance. We put that as a minor defect as well. So just kind of randomly chose a couple of colors here just to show off the uh, example of what this will do. So I'm going to go ahead and generate the report. All right, now the report has opened up. I'm going to jump to the report summary. And you'll notice here that we have a minor defects summary, which was the majority of issues in the report. And then I had just selected a few items to be part of the maintenance summary. Something that's listed to be a defect, wasn't minor, wasn't really a safety issue, and then safety concerns. So I had only picked a few items for here just to show this off, but you can see there's three separate colors here and then our fourth one up on top right here. So you can you can create these categories however you want. As we have here, something's minor or major, you could do this by contractor type. Um, how you do that is really up to you, but this would allow you to split up the summaries where with a single summary without that feature on, all the electrical issues would have been here under electrical with this uh, hybrid template um, instead of being completely separated out to maintenance. If you have any questions on this, you can call us at 888-750-4777 or email the help desk or shoot us an email or click on live chat. Thank you very much.